Michael's the Comfort Doll was created to help people with their problems. Now he's the problem. Buttons the Bear lost a lucrative corporate sponsorship for reasons of moral turpitude. Bill the Ventriloquist Dummy has had 58 partners die in unlikely accidents. Rocco the Dog was a sidekick in a children's TV show until one day he snapped. Prison didn't help, and now in one last desperate stab at rehabilitation, they've been placed in a halfway house. A home for puppets who kill. And I solemnly swear I will never kill again. My life is guided by Jesus. I never thought I'd say this, but I think you guys have been cured of all evil thoughts. Bless you, Dan. I no longer need to ice a guy just because I didn't have a good dump that day. And I don't have to kill to feel good about myself. Hmm? I think we're having a moment here. Hey, hmm. Bill, yeah. Rocco, somebody's at the door for you. Oh, great. <clears throat> well, if it ain't Rocco and Bill, the two slimiest punks in the city, how the hell are you? Well, if it isn't Uncle Louis Lozano, crime lord, gun runner, drug dealer, and loving father. Ah, <laughs> you sure know how to flatter a guy. <laughs> you know, I always like you guys. I got a job that might interest you. No, 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 we're out of the crime thing. We gave that shit up, baby. I'm clean and back to being a productive member of society. Where's the Rocco who used to break legs, shake people down? He's gone, man. Now I'm in therapy. We do healing circles. We've learned how to cry together. I've discovered my wounded child within. We run through the woods naked? In short, they fucking ruined us. Too bad. I need you to ice a guy. Wally the weasel. Sorry. No can do. It pays 20 grand. Hmm? Uh, for 20 grand, my wounded child will strangle Wally with his own nutsack. <laughs> Napkins? <sighs> And that should do it. I'm so nervous. It's always a special day when a girl introduces the man she loves to her father. Yeah. Oh, it'll go great, Isabella. Oh, thanks, Dan. Yeah, thanks, Dan. No, I warn you. Papa is very strict about my boyfriends. He's very old world. Oh, piece of cake! I don't know how he's going to accept our romance. After all, I am his little princess. Oh, don't worry, Isabella. I'll charm the fella. The button's magic never fails. <laughs> there he is now. You stay here. Let me break it to him easy. Right. <sighs> Papa. <laughs> Isabella, my darling. Oh, come here. <laughs> Welcome. Where is this fellow, Mr. Buttons, my future son-in-law? Uh, he, he's in the dining room. I want to meet him. Remember, I want you to have lots and lots of babies. <laughs> I need to talk to you first, Papa, about Buttons. If you love him, then I love him. Oh, but he's a bit different. He's not Greek. That's OK. Whatever makes you happy. What is he? Maybe it's better if you see for yourself. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Papa. This is Buttons. Where? Epharisto, Papa. What is this? Some kind of sick joke? No, but Papa, you said you only wanted my happiness. Yes, but never with a bear. Never. No, but let me explain. We will this be the laughing stock of the neighborhood. Has been better I will to not me. have my daughter in a bear. Never. But Papa, I love him. This always happens. You want this me to be miserable. This marriage will never happen. Never. But Papa. Never. I, I hate you. I hate you, and I hate this family. If it's any consolation. We do it Greek style, sir. He's always trying to control me. I can't stand it anymore. You're a grown woman. You have the right to decide for yourself. You're right. If we want to marry, well, then to hell with him. We're getting married. I'll fight him every step of the way. He thinks he's so damn important. Yeah. Just because he has mob connections. Yeah. <sighs> Maybe we should elope to Mexico. Yeah. Whoa. Back up. Did you just say mob connections? Didn't I tell you about that? Uh, no, you didn't. Uh, he could kill you with one phone call. You're so brave, uh, standing up to him. Yeah, I am, aren't I? 
Screw him. Huh? We're getting married. Uh, listen, uh, the old guy may have a point. Let's stand together and say, fuck you. <gasps> Shoot us down in cold blood if you want to. We'll die like Romeo and Juliet. Uh, let's hear the old guy out. <sighs> Nonsense. Together, we're strong. <sighs> uh, real strong. Why did you promise we were going to kill the fellow? Well, didn't you hear the guy? It pays 20 grand. Yeah, but we we promised Dan we'd stop killing. Yeah, I know. I got a plan. Hmm? We tell the guy to leave town for good, and then we collect the 20 grand as if we killed him. Brilliant. Yeah, I saw it in a movie. Worked great. Then why do we put plastic everywhere? Well, if he doesn't want to leave town, it may get messy. Oh. Mm. Hey, guys. What? Why did you put plastic everywhere? Uh, we have a lunch guest coming over. Yeah, and uh, he's a messy eater and a hemophiliac. Yeah, hemophiliac. Oh, good thinking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you pretend to kill me. Instead, you give me three grand? Yeah. You leave town, they think you're dead. Everybody wins. I was going to move to Montreal anyways. Perfect. <laughs> Three grand. Mm. Cash. Done. Nice doing business with you fellas. Besides, you never could have killed me. What? It's a fact of the matter. You against me, I would have won. Look, pal, I'm glad we got this deal here. But let's get something straight. I could have killed you. If I wanted you dead. You would have been spouting blood like Old Faithful. With all respect, I would have got you first. Nah, you were never a good shot. What? All the criminals, they make jokes about you. Safest place with Rocco is in front of his gun. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what do you say now, laughing boy, huh? Rocco, no. Hey, put that thing down. You're going to hurt yourself. Look, I'm a great shot. In fact, <gasps> I'll show you. I'll shoot a target. You see that, you see that sign on the cupboard up there? Not that. No, the other one. Oh, this. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Oops. Good man, Rocco. You haven't lost your touch. Piece of cake. Had a boy. Here's your 20 grand. Right. Since you um, did so well on the last job, maybe you'd like another one. No, thanks. I'm living a very simple life now. 20 grand is a lot of money. I can make this last a long time. This one pays 30 grand. This one, I'll take. <laughs> oh, Mr. Papandros. You know, there's no need to apologize for the other Get day. out of the way. We I want to see that fucking bear. Buttons! About the other night, sir, uh, I was wrong. We didn't do it Greek style. Technically, it was just anal. From this day on, you forget about my daughter. Of course, already have. Do not try to contact her. No. If you do, you are a dead man. Wouldn't think of it. Excellent suggestion, sir. I'm glad you understand. Oh, uh, your matches are in your right rear pocket, sir. Hmm. How did you know that? Easy. <laughs> I'm a bear. I can smell things for miles. Best noses in the world. Mm-hmm. Maybe you could help me out with something. You did what? I told the guy we'd do another job. Are you nuts? It's 30 grand, you ass. No one gets hurt. Nobody gets hurt. That's what you said about the last guy. So? So, he bled all over the house. He woke up, ran into the street screaming. You had to finish him off in the neighbor's yard. It was an accident. Could have happened to anyone. Yeah, Mr. Genius with a gun. I suppose you think you're smarter? Smart enough to keep him alive if I want to. Huh. I'll bet you couldn't do any better. Oh, yeah? You're on. Right, Dan. Go. Yeah. <laughs> Rocco, you haven't started a life of crime again, have you? Why would you say something insane like that? Well, yesterday you tipped the paper boy 200 bucks. So? And I couldn't help noticing you bought a ceramic greyhound for the island in the kitchen. Yeah, well, what's suspicious about that? With a diamond collar? Well, you know me, Dan. 
I'm a sucker for the home shopping network. Wait, 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 wait. You want me to leave town forever? Yeah. And you're gonna give me 3,000 bucks? Yeah. Pretty good deal, huh? What do you say? No. I say you whack me. Huh? You'll be doing me a favor. I've been thinking about killing myself anyhow, you know? And I got this life insurance policy, but if it's suicide, my mother don't collect. No, 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 don't you get it? I'm offering you a chance to get out alive. Bill, I got nothing to live for. What about your wife? This allows me to avoid alimony. Yeah, 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 yeah. but think of the kids. They're idiots. Huh? And they hate me. I see. Uh, look, I, I got a brochure on relocating to Montreal. Uh, it's great shopping. Uh, they got... You, you're gonna kill me or what? I'd rather not. You ain't got the guts. I'm begging you here, and you still can't do it. No, 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 no. Take the gun. No, no, no. Kill me, Bill. No. Oh, Bill, I swear to God. No. Oh, thank you, Bill. No. You set me free. Jerry, what an idiot. If you weren't dead, I'd kill you. So, uh, what are we doing at this warehouse storage unit? Let's play a little game. Okay. One of my hands contains a candy bar. Uh -huh. Which one? Uh... That one. Very good. Very good! <laughs> <laughs> what did I tell you? You can't fool this nose. Now, just for fun, mm -hmm. one of these garages contains a half a ton of medical grade heroin. What? Yes, one of my rival, I mean, my business associates uh -huh. put it here and would like me to find it for him. Oh, uh, well, uh... Not in that one. Uh, let's see here. Um... Oh, 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 it's in that one right there. You're sure? Oh, I'm positive. <laughs> I can smell for miles. Gamoto, you're gonna make me a millionaire. <laughs> Welcome to the family, Buttons. Thanks, Dad. I drink a toast to my son-in-law, who makes my oh. daughter happy. And if he makes my daughter happy and helps me in my drug business, well, that's just another happy coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, as, as Button social worker, I, I should say that uh, technically he isn't supposed to be finding uh, heroin in storage sheds. And if anyone has an issue with that, let him step forward, and I will put a bullet through his fucking skull. <laughs> You're the happy couple. Aww. Everybody, eat, enjoy. Yasu. And then I said, it's all Greek to me. <laughs> this boy makes me laugh. I love him like a son. <laughs> and I love this family. <laughs> Say, you know something? Isabella is not the first drug smuggler's daughter I dated. No, really? <laughs> yeah. I once dated the daughter of another drug dealer. What a coincidence! <laughs> yeah. I know a few drug dealers, but what, what's his oh, name? Uh, let's see. Her last name was, uh... Oh, Contralto. <laughs> Isn't that a riot? <laughs> Contralto? <laughs> it's the name of my biggest competitor and my sworn enemy. <laughs> He killed two of my sons. Oh, well, how about that? And I was stupid as daughter. <laughs> you exchange body fluids with a contralto and have the nerve to come here and try to marry my daughter? You deserve to die. Oh, Papa, what have you done? Maybe I'll just skip dessert. <laughs> 10, 20, 30 grand. There you go, boys. Nice doing business with you. Mmm, I love the way you made it look like a suicide. <laughs> <laughs> uh, listen, if you need anything else, uh, don't hesitate to call. Yeah. As a matter of fact, maybe you can help me. I'd like you to meet an old friend of mine. Oh. This is Mr. Papandros. He has some unfinished business he'd like you to take care of. I want you to kill this guy. Hmm? He's dishonoring the family. He's sleeping with my daughter. Uh, uh, are you sure you want to kill him? Of course I'm sure. Uh, if you really want to hurt him, uh, 
maybe you should hope that they get married. <laughs> you know, to be stuck with each other for life. <laughs> That's hell on earth, you know? <laughs> Are you fucking nuts? I want this guy whacked. Uh, how about family counseling? I hear it works wonders. Who are these clowns? <laughs> I'm paying you 30 Gs to whack this kid. Now do it. Right. right. Well, your dad hates me again. This is where we started. <sighs> There's only one way out of this. Right, back to stooping other people. Good idea. No, silly. I was talking about a suicide pact. A suicide pact? Yes. We drink hemlock together, and they find us dead, locked in each other's arms in an eternal embrace. <sighs> Maybe I missed something. How did we get from good lay to suicide pact? If you loved me, you'd do it. Tell you what. Uh, I need a little time to think about it, so uh, how about we meet up in a couple of hours, huh? Okay. See you soon. <laughs> Parting is such sweet sorrow. Yeah. <gasps> yeah, I need a little time to think of how am I gonna get my CDs back and change the locks of my doors. Hey, Buttons, you're not gonna believe this. Oh, I don't know. It's not even noon, and I've already been offered a suicide pact. Well, this will make you laugh. We've been offered 30 grand to whack you. Oh, <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> Ooh. Can't you just say you did it and not do it? Well, I suppose we could, but it uh, never seems to work out. OK. He's whacked. Beautiful. Here's the 30 grand. Mm. Eh, nice doing business with you. Oh, by the way. Where's the head? The, the what? The head? I told you to bring me his head. <laughs> you know, I don't recall you saying that. Uh, would you accept a photo? No. I want his fucking head on the desk or um, no deal. If you're thinking that he's not whacked, because believe me, <laughs> he's whacked. <laughs> he's whacked. Yeah. Oh, this reminds me of another time. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you know, these two guys I hired, they um, never killed the guy. Oh, really? Yeah, it was funny, huh? They got him to uh, leave town, and then they told me that they killed him. They saw it in a movie, huh? <laughs> <laughs> they saw it in a movie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that is funny. <laughs> yeah, but I caught them doing it. Right, uh, but... What happened? I cut off their balls. <laughs> 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 yeah, so, Mr. Papandros is gonna be coming to your house later to see the head. You better be there. Right. I don't see why you have to put my head on a platter. Oh, I do. This guy wants to see your head, and he's gonna see it. Rocco, I still have a shred of dignity, and I won't do this. Fine. Now we cut your fucking head off, okay? On second thought, maybe this isn't so bad. <laughs> uh, coming! Oh, push, go ahead. Oh. Come on, get in there, you okay. idiot! I'm trying! Ah! Uh. Oh, Mr. Poppendros. How nice to see you. I want to see the fucking head. Right this way. So much for pleasantries. Yeah. Yes. Justice is done. <laughs> You have done what you said you would do. You are truly honorable men. I salute you. All in a day's work. Mr. Papandros, to celebrate, let's say we go for some ouzos at the restaurant down the street. The first round's on me. It would be an honor to drink with men such as yourselves. They also do an excellent tapas. Hello, Papa. Isabella. I thought I might find you here. So? True. You killed him. You bastard. You have destroyed my happiness. Uh, okay, folks. <laughs> Show's over. So let's all move it to the Ouzo place. Huh? Uh, did I also mention they have a beautiful shawarma? <laughs> the, the secret is they let them eat simmer. It's a beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. <laughs> I'm not leaving this head. I love it. Well, the Ouzo place has strict rules about bringing heads in. Uh, believe me, I've tried. No dice. <laughs> I'm keeping this head. What? I want to keep it and mock you with it. Every minute, it will remind you that I had a real lover. This is the head that made me a woman. Stop talking this way. You are disgusting me. This head is more of a man than you'll ever be. Shut up. 
shut up, goddammit, or I'll put a knife to it and put an end to all this. Uh-oh. Uh, -oh. uh, uh right this way for uh, Uzo's folks. Yeah, Tuesday <laughs> night is ladies' night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. You think you can hurt me by putting a dagger through my lover? I swear I will do it. Would you like to see what he did for me? I will mount this head to show you how he pleasured your virginal daughter. Have you no dignity? Uh, what the fuck? You destroyed my dignity. Well, I never saw it going this way. Oh. I can't believe it. First, I thought I was gonna get my head cut off. Then it was almost death by cunnilingus. Hey, we got you out of it, pal. The minute seemed like hours. I thought she was gonna suffocate me. I'm still disappointed in you, Rocco and Bill, murdering two people. Hey, it was an accident. And besides, if we hadn't become hitmen, buttons would have been hit. Um, uh, hit me. Yeah, well, I know that's that. That's why I let it go this time. And the guy thinks the buttons is dead, so we got an extra thirty grand. <laughs> it's perfect. Hey, what happens when the guy finds out that I'm still alive? Now, don't worry, he's not going to find out as long as you stay hidden. Oh yeah, good idea, Dan. For how long? Oh, if another twenty-five years, I would do it. What? Oh. I'll make you a Van Gogh without even wanting to be one. Come here. You need a chisel set for me, buddy. It's not even noon, and I've already had the... Uh, uh, you got an elbow? Yeah, man, look at nice. it. Nice. Ah! My worst nightmare! So why did we put all the plastic down? No, no, that's not my line. Damn it. Just put it on the autofocus. That's what every professional cameraman does. I'm the government of Canada. I'm going to cut your budget. Ha <laughs> <laughs>